training now. I hope the sound quality won't be too annoying for you. The proper Swedish summer. Round 13 of Allsvenskan Elfsborg against Hammarby is the match they experience in this video. Welcome to HFV. I'm back in Sweden in the city of Gothenburg for a few days. So I always look up fixtures in nearby Borås and this one was matching the schedule. I asked you about it on the community feed and the outcome of the poll was quite clear. I was skeptical because I covered this game end of last year and even though it wasn't bad, the atmosphere didn't quite live up to my expectations. But it's a completely different situation now. In late October last year, these two teams didn't have too much to fight for towards the end of the Allsvenskan season but now it looks like a dream performance by Elfsborg they are second on the table they won nine out of 12 games they have a lot of exciting young talents who are performing well and some more experienced players to complete their starting 11 a club which doesn't necessarily have the pressure of finishing top three the same coach since 2018 they already finished second in 2020 and now they are at it again so the people in Boros show a much bigger interest in going to games the away team Hamarby do have the pressure of finishing on the podium but they are ninth struggling to perform this year so far. A team with one of the biggest supporter base in Sweden. It will be interesting to see how many of them show up for a Monday evening game. Most of them have to travel all the way from Stockholm, probably right after work or they just take the whole day off. Let's hope we're in for a treat and check out the previous Elfsborg Hammarby vlog, link in description. Welcome to Boros, creepiest city in Sweden. No, 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 can't. you can't say that as a vlogger. So it's sort of sunny or windy now, but it was raining, but it was showering half an hour ago. And uh, I got some funny comment yesterday to introduce statues or else I'm gonna get comments every day. Well, guys, comments for the channel uh, every day are a really good thing. It brings the channel forward, so sorry. But I take it as a request, so I'll introduce you three statues because I didn't really educate myself on it and uh, we're a bit short on time. But main thing is that Boros, let's say, isn't a creepy city because that's disrespectful to the locals. It's a bit isolated, as you see on the map of Sweden, thus a place for abstract art. So here we go, just next to the central station. The first statue I'm going to introduce you is the statue of Thomas. Olson. He was an adventurer and extreme skier who died at the age of 29, falling down from a cliff on Mount Everest, if I remember correctly. He wasn't born here, but he grew up in Boros, so it is significant for the town. Next, the human ostrich. Uh, so, oh, the sign is not visible anymore. So this is uh, meant to, to make people aware of... Uh, ignoring the inner society or maybe ignorance well these two words have the completely different meaning i'm not an expert but uh, as much as it's interesting i think it's meant to make people aware of contemporary problems in society the next one which is the last one this is viscan the river of boros and here is frederick Vretman's, sorry for the pronunciation if it's wrong so frederick Vretman's uh, body or uh, buddha Taking another look, I'm sorry that we don't have time for more. There are loads of interesting statues in Boros. It would worth the whole video. Maybe next time, let me know in the comments if you're interested in it. But now we have to head to the supporter gathering points. I have two young Esport fans with me today. Thank you guys for coming along for the interview. What do you think the score is going to be today and who will score? I think it will be 3-1. Good, Jonsen will score one. Ockelsson and Bernardsson and I think for Hammarby, Besara will score. I think uh, Elfsborg will uh, win if they win with one goal, so one Elfsborg will say. What do you think? 2-0 uh, for Elfsborg. You guys are really at it this year, 9 wins out of 12. Thoughts about that? Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, uh, we have been consistent for many, many years. Same coach, same idea of playing. And finally, we have the players for it. So it's a collective effort. It's not only one person. It's really a team behind it. A lot of young players. Do you think that is the key for the success this year? Uh, definitely. And when you combine it with the older players, so you have the, the mix of young and all, I think that's very good and very... You, I think you need it if you're gonna have success in the league. I think we have uh, some young players that have been uh, good this year, and uh, the sporting director is good because he's not kicking players, uh, like kicking managers uh, everywhere like last year. 
the man we didn't win in 12 games in a row and you know um, and the manager still stays right and yeah. now he's here and building the team and the team is doing a lot better exactly. favorite player uh, Niklas Sult he is left back he is very good your favorite player yeah I have same Niklas Sult is the atmosphere this year better in Boros Arena than last year yeah I think so more people yeah very much young people all right so a lot of your age and a bit, bit older go to the games and yeah. fire up the team? Yeah. Are you locals? You're living here in Borås? No, I'm actually living in uh, Stockholm, in uh, southern Stockholm, in uh, oh, wow. Hammarby land. So uh, it's, uh, it's uh, fun to see them play here, in, here at Borås. It's definitely special for you then. What about you? No, I, I'm also living in Stockholm now, but I grew up here in, in, in Boros, that's why you know I, we support Elfsborg. So you travel over f every week for the games? No, not every week, but we see maybe five, six games here every year. Up next, Hamarbu, aka Bayern, gathering point. We are there, it's on the other side, look. Did you come from Stockholm? Uh, actually, no. I came uh, from from Malta. Uh, I'm here on uh, vacation now with uh, my father-in-law lives here in uh, in Boros. So uh, I actually came for just because of this game. Well, what's the chance to uh, bumping into you coming from Malta? Are you Swedish, though? Uh, yeah, I'm Swedish, uh, but I lived in Malta for like two and a half years. So I'm trying to follow uh, by um, like all around. So and now I got the chance. So this is the first Hammarby game of yours this year? Uh, no, I've been in a couple of games in, in Stockholm flying from, from Alta. Uh, but uh, it's like I think it's like my fifth game for this season now. Thoughts on the season so far? Uh, I think we're, it's not been good enough, but I think we've been uh, kind of unlucky as well. Uh, but I think it's now uh, after the... The summer season, we will go stronger. We really, really underdelivered like the the whole season, but it many many games left. So uh, and we have the best crowd in the uh, in the in Sweden. So we at least have something. How does a Monday away day look like? Do you take this day work off? Yeah, for me personally, I have uh, am on vacation from my job. So we have a great day. We left our hometown early, went here to Burus and uh, started to. Uh, prepare for the game so uh, we are in a really good mood now. Do you have a favorite player? No, I don't know. I just like the atmosphere and uh, it's uh, the the fan culture around Hammarby is very strong. That's what I like the most. I like the sport and I like the team but no favorite play player. What will be the score today? Today we will win with 3-1. I think it's going to be 2-0. I think uh, Sadiku will score one and uh, uh, Majed will score one. 2-0 to, oh. to Hammarby. Who will score? Uh, Arabi and uh, Jukanovic. I hope Hammarby will win, of course. Uh, I hope uh, maybe 2-1 to Hammarby. Uh, Arabi and uh, Besara score for Hammarby. I think they will lose because they aren't that good right now. So I hope they will win, of course, but uh, no. Uh, that's it's realistic, a bit more critical on the performance. I think Elsboy is going to win. Maybe one or two goals. I hope Hammarby can uh, or, uh, so the game will stay uh, fun for us to watch. I, I don't think they're gonna win.
the 13th minute, the ball comes out from the keeper. As we were pushing, they were stronger in the first minute and they take the toll of it, they lead. This first half was a fair reflection of Esbord's season so far. They knew what they wanted to do with the possession they had. They were really quick pace on the attack, one, two touches. They were really effective in what they did. Perhaps they could have scored one more as well. Bayern weren't effective enough in the attacking third. They had their possession, they had their attacks, but eventually they couldn't finish them. Let's see about the second half. crazy next to me it was a great shot first touch volley awesome to the far corner low shot to the last body 86 minutes that's the win for them surely Last 
chance for Hammarberg. Close, but it's not in and it's over now. Asbord win 2-0. Oh, look at that joy. The people of Boros, local Asbord fans, and some from Stockholm, as we heard before the game. They have all right to enjoy this evening. Hammarby's struggle continues. Stop celebrating. If I understood correctly, they chanted the derby against EF Göteborg in two weeks. I'm gonna be there for that one, of course. And now they are chanting about something like that's what we that's what you do when you beat Hammarby. Title race kept close by Asbord with this confident victory. Hammarby showed up a bit in the second half. They had some dangerous shots, more possession, but no goals. And with Mielby drawing Kalmar, they are now down to the 10th place. The teams who have a game more will play European qualifications later this summer. Except for Degefors, they just had to play extra because of this. Hammarby will face Twente from the Netherlands later this month. They really need to sharpen up in the attacking third or else they won't stand a chance. I must say, out of my four visits to Boros, this was the most enjoyable by far. The weather was excellent. I think the city just used up all the sunlight for the rest of the year. The people I met for the interviews were really lovely, fair-minded supporters. I hope the video gets back to all of you. Thank you very much for your contribution. That's all guys. A few of you asked in the comment section of the previous video why I don't show anything of the game anymore. Because I used to, but there were unfortunate happenings earlier this year. To find out more about it, click the third link below in the description box. I hope you liked the content. Feel free to join me on the channel's social media pages. All possibilities on screen. The Sweden playlist is always there for you. This was my 26th game in the country, so there's plenty to check out. How was it, Jeffy? We see us on two Goodbye.